Now let's investigate part ed. Remember, part ed is the back end to the gparted utility that we were using earlier to create partitions. Part ed is a powerful command line partitioning piece of software, but it can be very, very complex. And so it's nice to have something like gparted to be the front end for us to really walk us through partitioning with it. But it's still a good idea to know basically what you need to do with it. So I will start up part ed on the command line. And when I start part ed, what it does by default is it thinks I want to partition the first drive. So you can see right up here in the top, it's saying, oh, dev SDA one is being selected basically. That's okay, but that's not the one I want to partition. Part ed and Microsoft's disk part utility are very similar in how they interact. And so if you're comfortable with one, you'll be, you'll be fairly comfortable with the other. For instance, if I want to, move to or partition sdb i have to use the select command to tell it that i want to select dev sdb once i do that now i'm using sdb and now i can partition it if i type the print command here you can see information about the dev sdb drive i can create a partition here if i want to with the make part command maybe we should take a look at the help first everything we can do in gparted we could do with the command line with part ed and that's fantastic but it's also very intimidating we can resize we can move partitions but you have to be very exact with what you're doing at the command line or you can cause a lot of trouble with your system so the best thing you want to do is make sure you're backing up everything or imaging it out before you really start playing with it but because we don't have anything to be concerned about we can go in here and create partitions let's go ahead and do that go down here and i'm going to type the make part and i'll type help make part if you want to find any information about a particular command you type help before it then it comes up and it tells us about the information about that command here and you can see all the different file systems that we can associate with partitions and there's quite a few that are available to us so let's go down here and we will type make part and we'll go through the interactive mode so it's asking me do you want a primary or extended i'll say p for primary it's asking me to file system type like the ones you see up here i will just choose ext2 even though we can format it later on in something else it asks for the beginning um, of the partition i'll say i want to do it from the first megabyte forward leaving that first megabyte free for the partition table and master boot record i'll press enter and it says where would you like to end and i'll select 512 and then I'll P for print. And sure enough, we can see that that information has been saved into the partition disk. Now, if I wanted to, I could quit right here and get out of this. Or another thing you can do from in here, you can actually type make part and don't go through the interactive mode. Just tell it what you want. So I want extended and I want to start it from 512 and go to... 1024. If I print in here, now you can see I have an extended, and from in the extended, I can create logical partitions. All you have to do to save this information if you want to is press Q to quit, and it writes it out to the disk. So once again, great little utility, I mean, great command line utility, but the GUI front end is where it really shines and it's just a wonderful tool to have. The one other file system tool I did want to show you is the one that comes with CentOS by default. It's definitely not as powerful as Gpart it is, but it's there in a pinch. And now that you know a little bit about different partitions and how they uh, are in the system, this may seem a little clearer to you. Here we have dev sda and you can see that right up here it says it's dev sda and dev sda has been broken into multiple sections as you can see we have boot over here dev sda1 and then dev sda2 is being used for the linux um, volume manager or lvms and what you see below here are all the lvm partitions in slash dev slash sda2 we'll talk about lvm a little bit later on and here is our one gig free partition and here's the information that we have about it 
Looks a little funky in here, doesn't it? But this is what we can, we can format things in here. We, we, can, we can tell it that we want to uh, create a size of our partition if we want to. So it has many of the capabilities, but I still really enjoy the G part of one much more. All right, so we'll cancel out of that. So that's, that is available by default. All right, so that is partitioning. We looked at G parted, we looked at F disk, and we looked at part ed from the command line. Next, we're going to look at putting a file system on a partition. Remember, you create the partition, then the partition has to have a file system put on it before you can save anything to that partition. All right, so file systems up next.